seas start to warm in the UK, that means that the jellies are back. It's thought that there are now more around, and there are two theories for this. Climate change and rises in sea temperature, which jellies love, and also that overfishing is removing their predators. There are many different types of jellyfish worldwide, but only really six that you find in the UK. But can you tell which are which? Most of us only see them stranded on the beach unless you are a sea user. Sometimes just one and other times in large numbers as they move in large groups known as blooms. All six can sting, but most so little it's harmless to us. It can be useful to know which species you are looking at and which you need to be more careful of from their more powerful stings. And there are just four to be aware of. Jellyfish are simple creatures and they have no heart, eyes, brain or bones. It's their tentacles which contain tiny stinging cells which can hurt if brushed past in the water or touched on the shore. We now know that they move through the ocean with purpose on the hunt for food rather than drifting through the currents aimlessly. The most dangerous in the world is the box jellyfish found in Australia. Once a jellyfish washes up onto the shore after it's been blown by wind and currents, like this barrel jellyfish here, they quickly dry out and die, and that's because they're mostly made up of water. But even when dead, they can still sting, so you do need to be careful, particularly around those that are more harmful. It can be quite difficult to identify stranded jellyfish because they dry out so much and change shape and size. But the general advice is to not touch because you can't always be 100% sure of what you're looking at. Seeing jellyfish in the summer is down to luck more than anything. So I've tried to include as much information as I can of all the different types, both in and out of water. I will start on the least harmful and finish on the most. The moon jellyfish is harmless and are very easy to tell apart from the purple pink four rings on their top. They are a smaller jelly and have short tentacles. You might not see all four rings when stranded, but there will be enough to identify this one easily. Barrel jellyfish are gentle giants. They can be pretty huge and also harmless. They are just stunning in the water. They are much bigger than the others, very robust, even when stranded, and are generally white, pale pink, blue or yellow with a purple skirt. Fringed arms hang from their main body. On the shore, they are quite easy to identify, quite rubbery and their colour appears mostly as it does in the water. This is the compass jellyfish. It's easy to see where they get their name from, looking at the brownish V-shaped markings on its top and long thin tentacles which contain more powerful stinging cells similar to nettles. They are very easy to identify once washed ashore, just as they look in the water. The blue jellyfish also has a sting similar to nettles and look very similar to the lion's mane coming up next, but much smaller and blue in colour. They keep their blue colour when washed up, but can fade over time. And now we come to the jellies with more powerful stings, and the lion's mane can give quite a nasty one. I haven't actually ever seen one, but they are a reddish-brown large species with a big mass of long, thin hair-like tentacles and short, thick, frilled arms. On the beach, they look like one big red-brown mass. The mauve stinger has very helpfully included in its name that they sting, and for a small jelly, they can be pretty nasty. A sting could lead to hives, blisters and other symptoms. They are covered in red dots where all the stinging cells are. They are fairly uncommon to the UK, so it's unlikely that it's one of these that you will see. And now we come to some jelly cousins that should be included too. The Portuguese man of war is unmistakable, with its blue purple colours, float with a sail and long purple tentacles. Normally found in the open ocean on the surface, drifting on the currents, they are rare in the UK and blown over on westerly winds, so you're most likely to see them in Wales and in the southwest. They actually aren't a jellyfish, but a floating colony of hydrozoans. They can be very dangerous, so look but don't touch. They can lose their colour when stranded, and those tentacles can keep their sting long after they are dead, so just be careful if you see them on the shore too. And finally, the By the Wind Sailor are again not a jellyfish, but closely related. Similar to the Portuguese Man of War, they drift around on ocean currents on their deep purple-blue oval disc, and you will totally recognise them when they wash up on the shore. 
As far as experts know, adults die off in the winter, apart from barrel jellies, which sink to the bottom of deeper waters on the continental shelf and overwinter on the seabed. Weighing on jellyfish stings is a popular myth, but fortunately is not very effective. The best thing to do is to wash the sting and either put hot water or vinegar onto the affected area.